welcome a, welcome aboard. Sorry for all the noise, but uh, right where I'm sitting right now, let me just kind of do a kind of a, a loop around here. This is the ghost town, <laughs> and this is a big time ghost town of uh, the town of Cochrane. I have never been here before. This is the first time I've been here. I finally figured out how to make it here. And this is it. This is where the town was, right here where I'm sitting. And these streets, these little these little trails that I'm on right here were the streets. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, it was right here. It's crazy. It's just a trip. And then look it up here. We got some, uh, Okay, I'm on my way. That's a, yeah. It's a big helicopter, why is it there? We should go find out. There's a helicopter up here, man. I'll, I'll bet you it's a law enforcement helicopter. I'll bet you anything. Uh, they patrol these areas. How you doing? Is that your helicopter? <laughs> That's so cool. You can just fly it wherever you want. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw it from a distance. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that, that was the pilot. Well, it can't be because there's two dudes. I know, but you look at it. Oh, wow. Would you look at this, man? The things you see out here, man. It's crazy. The things you see out here. Look at this thing. That is insane. Go. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. Wow. Oh, here's a foundation. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Here's a foundation, guys. That must have been a building or something that was here from Cochrane. I'm wanting to say that the Coke ovens must be Oh, there they are. There they are right there. There they are, right there. Okay, I can see them from here. This will be perfectly fine.
Here we go. Wow. Now that was cool. Too bad he had somebody with us. We could all we could have uh, took took turns going for a ride. <laughs> Would you have gotten that thing? Oh yeah. For sure, for sure. Take Look, he's up. probably going to have to climb up before he hits that mountain. Out here trying out a couple of uh, new pieces of gear, a couple of new pieces of kit, as my uh, friends from the uh, other side of the pond would say. They would say a new piece of kit. And uh, I got myself, I got myself a new, uh, a new set of tires. And uh, go ahead and talk to you about them tires, tell you all I know about them so far. I got 15 miles on them so far, so I, I don't know a whole lot, but I ought to be able to tell you a little something about them. And uh, tell you about my choice in tires, uh, just get it out of the way. I bought uh, ITP Ultracross tires. And... Um, They weren't like my first choice of tire, but they were the, they were the tire that, uh, that had the tread, uh, you know, pattern that I was kind of looking for, uh, had the uh, features that I was looking for with the, uh, the size that I wanted. You know, I had 26 inch, 26 inch uh, tires on here before and I was going to buy terabytes. Everybody likes terabytes. I was going to buy terabytes. I, I was fine with, uh, with the terabytes. And uh, so I was going to get terabytes, but they don't come in the size that I wanted. Uh, they come in uh, a 27 inch tire that uh, many people have reported as being 27, uh, you know, 26 inches actual. So I didn't want a, uh, you know, a 26 inch tall tire because that's what I had and this thing was like, you know, on the ground as it was. So I wanted a taller tire and ITP had some, uh, uh, taller tires that you could mount on 12 inch rims because that's what you know the stock rims on this thing are 12 inch so that was the issue if I had 14 inch rims I could get any you know any tire that I want but um, I uh, I didn't have 14 inch rims and I didn't really want to spend the money on getting new rims I, I actually kind of like the rims that are uh, that are on this machine. They don't uh, they don't bother me. I, I think they they look okay. I'm just concerned about their durability. I mean, in all honesty, they they don't look very durable. Um, they don't you know they don't look like they take a, a very uh, very big shot or anything. So that's the only thing I'm really concerned with as far as that goes. But. Um, so that was my issue. So I, I uh, was all ready to pull the trigger on the on the um, terabytes anyway. I was going to buy them any cotton picking way and just uh, live with it. Um, and then at the last second, I, I spotted these. So, so that was my tire dilemma. So I, there were like no reviews on the, uh, on the uh, ultra cross tires. I mean, you can't find anybody that, uh, you know, that's had them, you know, that's done any reviews on them or anything. 
So I was really unsure about them, but I know that the tread pattern looked good to me. The only thing I could find was, uh, was a video that Rocky uh, Mountain ATV made about them. And uh, basically they said, hey, uh, these tires are known for uh, handling high speed uh, the best. That's what they're known for, high speed trail riding, like, uh, you know, like Baja racing or something, you know. Then I'm like, well, that's not, you know, I'm not into that or anything. Uh, but the tread pattern looked good to me. The only thing that was concerning me is how hard the rubber was. The, uh, the actual uh, tread is, uh, you know, was, I forget what that, uh, you know, how they're rated for uh, rubber hardness. I forget what that rating is, but it's rated really high. It's higher than the, uh, than the terabytes, and the terabytes are kind of high. Um, so I was like, hmm, well, you know, I don't know. So I took a shot and uh, bought them. And uh, yeah, within the first mile, I'm, uh, you know, I'm saying to myself, holy shnikes, uh, these things are hard. I'm saying they are hard. The thing that, that you notice immediately is that your vehicle uh, rides like a, like a track tank, you know, after you put these tires on. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's no longer <laughs> a smooth riding machine. It's a, it's a, a beat the piss out of you kind of machine. And, uh, yeah, so a new, uh, a new GPS device. I'm using a tablet today, which I'm not, uh, convinced that is my my smartest move because it's just out here getting beat up and this isn't a cheap tablet so looking both ways on that train track there and uh, kind of go through the sleepy hollow part up here you know, this up here looks like uh, like sleepy hollow coming up through here so those are the that's the tire situation and and as far as traction, uh, I've taken it over a couple of uh, you know rocky things, some side hilling. I do have uh, you know a couple of things that we went through and over today, and it it did they're doing they seem to grip the ground fine, which I was skeptical about. Yeah, here we go through the Sleepy Hollow. I'm just uh, waiting for a horse to come through here and he's carrying his head in his hand, you know, a pumpkin head. And yeah, some waiting to happen here. But this is super fine, super fine dirt in through here. So you got to keep moving and don't stop. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. All right, we're good. But anyway, I'm trying the, the tablet and it's clearly in my way, right? Like, this is not ideal so i'm going to figure something out like mount it on the uh the grab bar right here facing me this way or something because this is not working it's just too much too much in my face right here and uh not good so we're gonna cross the river check it out we got river river on both sides the river and we'll just uh cross it that's a uh, that looks to be about a foot deep or so. And uh, and then we'll get up here. This might be a little bit better view for you. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, so there's a, there's kind of a trick. You just kind of hug, hug the side and kind of go down. And these tires seem to grip real well. And as far as uh, off camber stuff, like right there, they just seem to be you know, way more sure-footed than the uh, than the stock tires. You know, because they're wider in the front, wider in the back, a uh, whole nine yards on that. But any hoot. So, so this is kind of uh, really loose, rocky uh, terrain right here, and the you know the tires really are gripping really well much better than I was expecting. I was super skeptical of these kind of tires because I've had these kind of tires on trucks 
You know what I mean? I've had four wheel drive vehicles. I, I drove a Jeep for years, you know, and I've had my fair share of different types of all terrain truck tires. And that's kind of what these are. Ooh, there's a big mine right there. And uh, so I'm familiar with truck tires. And you know these ti the, these tires are kind of uh, like truck tires. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, you know there's one of these truck tires, or one of these uh, you know UTV tires, is uh, is exactly like their truck tire. The tread design is exactly the same, and. Um, And uh, so, you know, I, I just, so they're like, they're like truck tires. It's the latest, greatest uh, deal, latest, greatest thing or whatever. And I can't help but be skeptical because I've been using uh, ATV tires, you know, this, this whole time. And uh, I have uh, often wondered something metal and shiny over there sure what's going on over there but it's metal and it's shiny anyway back to what I was saying so they grip the ground good not having any uh, ground gripping issues I guess you, I'm just gonna have to get used to how much uh, you know how much rougher they are I mean and I guess it makes sense because the tires that I had on here the stock tires you know like I've said we're like driving on water balloons you know, and they probably t took up a lot of the the bumps. You know, they probably absorbed. They were kind of like a, a secondary uh, shock absorber. You know, and you don't have that anymore. These these tires do not give. The sidewalls do not give. They are they are like you know, like I said, like kind of like rock. <laughs> oh wow, that's an interesting like rock wall right there. But I mean. I don't know if you guys can tell, you know, but it's it's bumpy. It's bumpy in here, man. So that's kind of what happens. Uh, the, oh, I'm just uh, kind of like, I guess, over-concerned with these tires because they're so much bigger than the stock tires. And they're uh, quite a bit heavier, too. And I can't help but be concerned about the whole situation.